Hi guys, this is Asis and you are watching ASP Media. In this video, we will talk about HTML tables and HTML file paths. If you are very new to this channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest videos. Now let's move to the topic. So HTML tables. HTML tables allows the web developers to arrange data in a rows or columns. As the table contains some rows and some columns so this can be made with HTML table starting angle bracket then table and closing angle bracket this tag defines an HTML table each table row is defined defined with a starting angle bracket then TR that is the table row then the closing angle bracket tag and each table header is defined with TH tag then similarly each table data that is the cell where the, we will write the text is defined with td tag so by default the text in th elements are bold and centered by default the text in td elements are regular and left -handed. so these are some of the predefined text text styles that is th containing the bold and centered and td that is the table data cells contains the regular or the left lines so let's see the basic syntax how table how table syntax look like here, table with heading and here table without heading so the table in html starts with the starts with table tag then row as we have seen row starts with tr and inside this row there are two cells that is the cell one and cell two so cell one for cell we write table data table data cell that is td td tag so inside td we we have written text a and this is cell 2 and inside td we have written b and after that we have closed tr that is the table row so in the first row the two cells will be displayed that is a and in the right portion it is b and similarly there is row 2 it is tr table row and similarly here also two cells are there cell 1 and cell 2 containing text c and d so this is an example of the syntax it is table without heading and suppose you want to use table heading so similarly just type a table table tag and after that start table row and inside the table row type th it is table heading tag inside the tag type month suppose text is month and suppose you want to give two two headings that is the left and right so this month and this is savings so in the first row will consist of two heading that is months and savings there is there will be two parts and in the second row that is the tr we have defined here that defines the second row in the second row inside the second row consisting of table data that is table data cells it is month january and the savings will be dollar 100 so now let's take example to vs code create a new file this tables dot html type title tables dot tables in html so here start with table tag then closing table then after defining table type create a table row so table row for table row write tr and in the first table row type table data so td this is the first data so type here a and make the second data that is td type d similarly make second row that is tr tr then create table data td then type c then again 
create table data type D so just save it just open the file tables.html so you see this a b c d now arranged it is the first row and it is the second row if you want to give border then just type here table border one save just refresh so you see this is the table border one now here if you want to give heading table heading yes, we have made two table row that is the table row for a b and table row for c d so make one another table row it is t r and inside this type t h that is table heading so the first table heading will be suppose month and second table heading salary so just remove this with month january and this with march and in the salary and this is the salary heading so you need to write the right portion salary so this table data should be filled with salary so i am writing suppose dollar 340 and here in this table data i am writing dollar 330 so just save it now refresh it here in the browser section so you see this is the first row is the table heading and it is bold it is printed with letters bold letters and here is the second row second row consisting of table data it is january it is month and this salary dollar 340 similarly it is the third row this month march and salary is dollar 330 so in this way table can be made and move to slide So adding styles to tables. So collapse border styles can be used in this HTML tables. Here the border will be collapsed. That is we have seen here. Just move to browser. Just open this browser. So you see here there is two border line is now visible. If we use border collapse property it is the css property so this two line will be collapsed with a single line so this makes your table looks good this is table comma th comma td this means the styles will be added to table it is a tag name with table tag is th tag and td tag so what it will do so border 1px solid black border collapse property with these styles so the similarly the css nh child selector this nh child selector in css means suppose we have made here in this um, suppose in this table we have made three rows one two three and if you want to uh, give color to this uh, alternate rows suppose leaving this month that is is the heading heading row so suppose you want to give color red color to this january and this salary in this 341 this second row and if you want to give green color to this third row so this can be possible with the help of an child selector so here how an child selector is used in html this first of all you need to write we are creating one id t01 and inside that id we are writing we are specifying table row such that here column means such that nh child that is nh child all the event we are passing the parameter event that means all the 
table row all the event table rows will be filled with background color that is the property hashtag eee and similarly hashtag table t01 and similarly the table row ns child odd all the odd rows will be filled with background color hashtag fff and the next hashtag t01 that is th table heading all the and the table heading will be filled with color white and background color black so here background color of every even rows that is the tr will be hashtag eee every odd table row that is tr will be hashtag fff so the background color of the table heading remains black as we have defined in here so just see it once above inside the head just create style create id just similar to this t011 so create id t01 then a tr such that and a child and a child all the even one okay all the even one we are adding style background color background color to hashtag e e e and creating id t01 tr and a child all the odd rows will be filled with background color hashtag ff is the white color and we want that our table heading that is the table heading should be table heading we want the color of the table heading to be white so just type color white and the background color so type black so we are giving this as black table heading must be dark in color so that it will be visible good for collapse border just type table that is th td so here all the tag names with table th and td will be filled with these properties so type property is border we need border 1px and we need color so type solid is the basic css is solid black and also we need the border collapse so border collapse and style collapse type table id just remove from here border type id equal to t01 just copy paste these portions Let's create for this month January. Let me create it. Change this to February and March. Then make this April. Just save it. Now refresh. So now we have defined that every even rows should be filled with background color hashtag E E E. That is it done. Uh, it is the zero. Then it is then it is the first row then it is second row third fourth fifth and this is the even one this is even one filled with hashtag eee -E -E. and this is the odd one and this is odd one we fill with hashtag ff that is white and here the heading is background heading background color is black and the foreground color that is white color so in this way css styles can be added to table now html file paths so a file path describes the location of a web website's folder structure so for a website to deploy we need to upload several pages 
several files to server so in this way we need to attach we need to insert several images to the website so for that we need to keep our files images to a certain folders so for that uh, we need to maintain certain file paths so here are some of the file paths file path is used so this image equal, src equal to picture.jpg this means that the picture.jpg file is located in the same folder as the current page so whenever you type this type of source files that means the picture file that is a picture.jpg file is located within the same folder where you have created your html page and whenever this image source source file that is the images slash picture.jpg is created so that means your picture.jpg file is located in the images folder in the current folder whenever this source that is the slash writing slash before the images and images and slash picture.jpg then this in this case the picture.jpg file should be is located in the images folder at the root of the current web that means whenever you create uh, whenever you upload the files to server so there we need to maintain some root directory so where we need to type index.html where the server host that index.html page as your first home page so that root page we have talked about here is the root of the current page current web and this slash defines the root at the root positions and the image src is equal to dot dot slash picture dot jpg this source file means you are moving out of a certain folder so suppose the picture dot jpg file is located in a folder once level up from the current folder so if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe this channel if you are very new to this channel Thank you.